This question is from the October 2020 U.S. SAT non-calculator. College Board gives us a system of equations and asks for the value of y. To solve for y, we've got several options. I'm going to solve the first equation for x and substitute that expression in for x in the second equation. So if I subtract 3 from both sides, I get y minus 3 equals x. Put that in for x in the second equation, and I get twice x is twice y minus 3 minus y equals 0. Distributing twice y minus 2 times 3 is 6 minus y equals 0. Combining like terms, 2y minus y is y, y minus 6 equals 0. Add 6 to both sides, and I get y equals 6. That's choice D. Alternatively, I can move the x to the left-hand side. Well, yeah, let's do that. Negative x plus y equals 3, and 2x minus y equals 0. If I add these two equations to each other, the y terms will cancel, which seems to be going in the wrong direction, but let's do it anyways. Negative x plus 2x is 2x minus x is x. y minus y is 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. So x equals 3. Substitute that value of x into our first equation, and y equals x plus 3 is y equals 3 plus 3 gives us y equals 6. I can check that in the second equation. Twice x is twice 3 is 6, minus 6 is 0. So that does work. Answer is choice D again. College Board often asks six systems of equations. You should expect four, five, perhaps even six of them on your SAT. So make sure you're good, very good at these. I would suggest when you do one in a practice test, you go back after your, your time is up and redo the system of equations using a different method so you stay proficient at a variety of methods. And come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.